Okay, welcome back. Now we are gonna look again at extracts two and three, um, of SRQ. Okay, um, I've already elaborated about the expectations of um extracts two and three, as well as how to sort of answer. And a quick recap is again remember, um, one paragraph. Is five to six, two paragraph is six to seven, and then of course the conclusion or the evaluation is the eighth mark. Uh, you can decide to do this if, for example, your time management is really good. If not, then I reckon that you focus on just giving two explanation okay so um, let's go through this now the question itself is asking you um, what kind of impact what kind of negative impact does globalization have on individuals what negative impact does globalization have on SMEs Okay. So we do know that for individual, we have just learned it yesterday, uh, that actually individuals possibly uh, would be severely affected given a negative impact on globalization, right? Um, a very good example would be losing of jobs. When do individuals lose jobs? Um, right now would be a very good example. Okay, when there is economic downturn. When there is a global pandemic. Like now, like COVID-19. Okay, the very fact that every... If let's say we use COVID-19, right? The very fact that all shops except for essentials are closed down, it will affect uh, the individual. Especially if, for example, either they are daily waged, okay, they earn um, very much daily, uh, or their place that they worked, the companies, close down. So you can just imagine how the individual is affected, okay. Uh, in your textbook, as well as um, in my website, if I'm not mistaken, I think um, losing jobs, the other example that they gave was actually um, about Uniqlo's production. All right. Uh, the very fact that initially it started in China, their factories were in China, uh, because of definitely manpower and cheaper labor, but uh, Uniqlo moved to Vietnam, where it is even cheaper than China. Just imagine that somewhere that's even cheaper than China, okay? And because of this, the Uniqlo factories in China closed down and when they close down the individual okay how are they affected okay they lose their jobs and when they lose their jobs standard of living falls standard of living okay um, and they cannot uh, continue working okay so in terms of pay uh, they have no pay, all right? So this is an example um, of 
an individual impact. Of course, you can give any other examples, right? But do remember that actually this part here, this part here, okay, is very important. And why is this part very important? Because this part here is the link, okay? All right? This is the why. Why would it affect the individual? All right? Okay, now let's go back uh, to SMEs now. Okay, as an SME, again, if you do not and if you cannot or you forgot the definition of SMEs, SMEs are small, medium enterprise. Okay, small, medium enterprise. And um, the work of a small, medium enterprise is really actually to support MNCs. Okay, and imagine if there was a global recession or an economic downturn, you can just imagine how it will affect SMEs. Now, SMEs possibly made up, um, they hire 70% of Singaporeans. Now, given an economic downturn, even COVID-19, how are they going to survive, right? Okay, so the example um, in your textbook, actually, they talk about five-star tours. Now, five-star tours was actually a tour company. It is the bus company that usually travels from Singapore and mostly to KL. That was where uh, their main bulk of customers were, um, as well as Genting, actually. Because a lot of Singaporeans went to Genting to gamble, right? So what happens is when Resort World Sentosa was set up and there were casinos already in Singapore, uh, the tour bus to Genting was severely affected. And I said severely affected. To the extent that five-star tours was actually closed. It went bankrupt. And the owner apparently became a coffee shop, um, coffee shop helper, okay? Not even a coffee shop owner, a coffee shop helper, all right? And of course, they were not able to, they failed. So this is an example of an SME that failed to innovate. They didn't improve their seats, okay? There was no improvement to service, there was no improvement to seats. So these were things that um, competition um, was better than them. Alright, now, why? So how, what happens in the end, right? So in the end, how does this, again, go back to the question, how are they affected by global recession? Okay. Now, as a result of their inability to keep up with the global recession, okay, uh, they close down. And when they close down, again, what happens? Um, they were unable to sustain as a company. Many workers were asked to leave, okay, lose their jobs. And Five Star, as a company, no longer exists. So this is what happened when uh, the SME, for example, is unable to sustain themselves. 
all right so this is the link take note of this bit all right these are links that you need to uh, pay attention to so lastly if you were to ask okay question uh, who would actually be more affected right uh, because the question ask more affected Would it be the individual? Would it be the SMEs? Now, I mean, if you think about it, common sense, okay, I would say it definitely would be the SMEs versus the individual. Even though the impact um, towards the individual is great, even though the impact, right? I messed that up impact to individual is great i mean they lose their jobs their families are affected especially if let's say uh the person that lost the job was actually the sole breadwinner right but in terms of the impact in terms of Whose impact was greater is definitely the small medium enterprise. And the reason why it's small medium enterprise is because of the scale of SMEs. I mean, they hire more people. This is in terms of the business opportunity that is lost right and in terms of sheer impact towards money towards revenue i mean smes actually has more to lose it is very hard to recover once you go bankrupt or once you lose your company but as an individual yes i acknowledged they also may find it hard to recover but they are able to bounce back much easier right they could look for jobs easier but this is times 1000 people so Definitely, the question, global recession will have a more greater impact to SMEs compared to individual. Okay, so this is how, for example, you actually weigh uh, and you evaluate the conclusion. Okay, um, only if you have time, only if there is time. And only if you are able to really make that argument. Okay? So, um, I want you guys to be very careful about it. Alright? And make sure that uh, you type out this entire essay. Um, I will give instructions in SLS um, on how you do this. Um, and I want you to really think very carefully. Okay, uh, and I will give you feedback based on it. Okay, so um, I hope you understand the requirements of SRQ writing. Okay, uh, the part A as well as the part B. Uh, be very mindful of time because we are talking about the full paper is 1 hour and 45 minutes. Okay, and in this 45 minutes, you are expected to do both part A, part B of SRQ. Hopefully, hopefully 35 minutes. So don't waste time. Okay, you don't have to give both sides actually. If you're really smart, remember, um, it is 6 out of 8 is quite decent actually. And 5 to 6 marks out of 7 marks for A and six to seven uh six to eight marks 
for B is actually very good. Okay? But what is important is you must do both A and B. Alright? Okay? Um, until next week, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.